With big storms come big waves and big time surf. And there's no place bigger than Mavericks and Half Moon Bay. The waves looked absolutely massive and it was everything that uh, we expected. It was really big, I would say maybe 40 to 60 foot waves. Miguel Blanco flew into town all the way from Portugal to surf the historic waves of Mavericks. It was difficult to see from our vantage point on the shoreline, but this incredible footage shot in the water gave us a look at what the brave surfers were able to see. I can't imagine what it's like staring at a 40 foot wave and dropping in. If it's your turn, then you just gotta go, you know, like when you see a big wave, you're kind of scared, but at the same time, you're, you're feeling like you should go and you go and you just go and enjoy the ride. For local Ion Banner, he wished he didn't have to share incredible waves like these with everyone else. But he recognizes the legacy of Maverick spans the small surf town of Princeton and Half Moon Bay. That's uh, like pretty gnarly. I mean, it's super big. People from all over uh, Portugal, Brazil, Tahiti, Hawaii, got Kai Lenny and his brother out there. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, amazing surfing going down. HBO was on hand creating a documentary of the day's events, but a look through the sails and mist shows crowds of spectators here to catch the action as well. We're seeing some huge swells, big waves, and some surfers that are crazy going out there. It was crazy enough to just watch the surfing, but hundreds took the two-mile walk to the coastline from the town to line up and down the steep cliffs of the beach. San Mateo County officials did what they can to suggest people stay away. But these waves brought them to the Bay Area from far and wide. It's amazing. Yeah, we're pretty lucky here. Pretty special place we live in. It certainly is. I mean, it might become a um, yearly event for the Solways. And when you see this, the question isn't why, it's why not. At Mavericks in Half Moon Bay, Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News.